Seems no one can stop Burnley's march on an instant return to the Premier League. A win today would be their 10th in succession and see them equal a club record set all the way back in the 1911-12 season. Nathan Teller, 11 goals so far this campaign, including two in the cup in midweek. Yamar Ekdal, scorer at Norwich, starts today. 17 points clear of third place now our Vincent Company side, but it is derby day and there is no love lost between Burnley and Preston. The last time Preston played here was back in 2015 and on that occasion they left Turf Moor with all three points and Ryan Lowe find a similar performance here today. Burnley, favourites here today. A fantastic campaign so far can they prevail against Preston what is likely to be a hard fought game here in front of a packed crowd that's a more lovely trickery over on the far side now can he pick someone out it's deflected behind in the Burnley corner and these Preston players know they're going to have their hands full here this afternoon trying to deal with the likes of Anna Sarori so tricky so creative and cut out by Jordan Story in it's dealt with at the front post but another chance to look it back in here Teller all alone Burnley into the lead his 10th championship goal this season and he just cannot stop scoring two goals in the FA Cup against Ipswich in midweek and it's taken him just 15 minutes to get Burnley ahead here. And Preston knew just how difficult today would be. And they already find themselves behind and there will be an inquisition as to how Nathan Teller was left all alone there at the front post to nod that beyond Freddie Woodman. Is he enjoying his football right now? start that Ryan Lowe would have wanted from his side they've been brilliant away from home recently four wins in their last five away from Deepdale this of course the toughest test in the championship this season Burnley looking for a second and it's pulled away by Freddie Woodman and keeps it at 1-0 Again, it's that creative play from Zvorori. Ashley Barnes causing plenty of problems inside the penalty area, but he just couldn't find a way to beat Freddie Woodman. And Vincent Company will be happy with what he's seen from his side so far today. Still plenty of work to do. Teller. Plenty of room, he looks to find Ashley Barnes. Bramhill wins the header, chance to strike here. Woodman falls on top of it. There's a Rory, we've all seen his ability to score this season. Ten goals in all competitions, but just couldn't quite sneak that inside the near post. Preston approach this second half. Do they keep it tight, try and remain in the game? Or do they just instantly look to get themselves on level terms and have a go? It was a free header. And one from which Adam Brown knows he could have done much better with. They won't have too much of the ball here today. They perhaps won't get into attacking areas too many times, so they have to take the chances when they come. Cannon clipping in the cross and Brown. Well, he had the run. He hit the target really. Moves it right. So that was he brought down. That continues. 
given away here and here's Zarouri around the outside and just flashes off target and he's got his hands on his head again the chances he's had in this game Preston playing themselves into problems there which way will this Derby turn next here's Barnes lays it off to Nathan Teller checks inside Teller he's done it again the little fella his second of the game and it might just be enough to take it away from Preston he can't stop scoring and he can't stop smiling either four goals now in his last two games and approval from Alan Pace just touched off by Barnes and then Teller lovely chop back inside to fool the defender there was barely a gap and it glanced off the post and beat Freddie Woodman and everything he hits right now he's turning into goals Barnes doing his job linking up the play and Teller and he'll just hit them from anywhere right now out of the reach of Woodman and Turf Moore and loving Nathan Teller is there any way back in this game for Brian Lowe's side and risk taken there by Jordan Bayer and it's all just flaring up here you would expect this in the derby game. Risk taken there. Jordan Bayer. Knew Richard come a long way from his goal for the pass. Bayer turned. Backed himself and yellow cards for both him. And Liam Dillap. Vincent and Company won't want anything which might just fire up this Preston team here. Is a very good job. Of course, they are on their way to equal that run of 10 successive hard wins that have stood for so long. Here's Teller, he could perhaps wrap it up. It's a hat-trick for Nathan Teller. How do you stop him? Burnley are running away with this game. And they're running away with the championship as well. The goal that came a different way. Muric with the long ball. Barnes was battling away. It was enough of a distraction. And the ball broke to Teller. And he just doesn't miss right now. Woodman will ask questions of himself, I'm sure. And Nathan Teller will be heading home and taking a match ball with him tonight. It is his first career hat-trick. And it's turning into an afternoon to forget for Preston North End. And their supporters. Those expressions tell you everything. So will be 10 successive and wins at Turf Moor for Burnley. And beaten at home in the league this season. Lovely play from Bayer. Could he do it again? The ball rolled across and cleared away. And he shouldn't get greedy, perhaps. He has a hat-trick already. Nathan Teller will be frustrated because he could have had four. Could have hit it earlier. He looked to be unselfish and just roll the ball across. To Lyle Foster. That one cut out. Well, it is Nathan Teller's day. And what a season he is having. Turf Moor rises to salute. Burnley's hat-trick hero here today. A word from Vincent Company. There was the first nodded home early on. Here was the second, the chop back. And then the venom on the strike to beat Freddie Woodman. And the third through the legs of the keeper. And Nathan Teller has been the difference here today. And he has been named, unsurprisingly, the player of the match. A beaming smile.
And the pace would be delighted. He made the decision to bring Vincent Company to the club, and my word, is it paying off? The supporters are loving the journey. Full time at Turf Moor. Vincent Company's side win a tenth successive game as they blew away Preston here. Plenty to enjoy, plenty to admire from those packed into Turf Moor, but the story and the headlines all revolve around that man, Nathan Teller. He is having an incredible campaign. Brian Lowe, well, it's frustration for him. His side never really got going today. And pace, improving of what he sees, and a match ball to take home for Nathan Teller. A first career hat-trick for them. Burnley winning here this afternoon against Preston by three goals to nil.